anyway, so today I'm going to do a review on the Tim Holtz Media tool set, um, which goes great if you have his glass mat. Um, so when I got this on Amazon, and it's like $12, $12 change on Amazon, I'll put a link down below so you can see. People had given it some bad reviews. I almost didn't buy it because people were saying it doesn't line up, and they, they didn't like it, I guess. Um, and I love it. So I thought I would do a review kind of showing you what I use it for and the reasons why I really like it and think it's definitely worth getting. So what it is, is you get like for the $12, you get, you get like this scraper, um, which you can actually use to mix stuff up with. This is um, more than just a scraper tool. I mean, the main thing is for this part, um, if you have like dried paint, you can kind of scrape it off. Let's see, I have some paint here, um, which, I mean, you don't need that. I mean, you can just wipe it off and it'll come off. And that wasn't really dried on too much. So I think if it's more crusty or whatever, it would scrape off. Um, I don't really use it for that. What I do like is the ruler. So the ruler has this flat side that has like this wire in it. And then you have kind of a beveled side. Okay, so it kind of hooks on, it has like a hook, and you can hook it either here, you can hook it here. Some people are complaining if they were left handed, you know, because your bevel size or whatever, I guess, you know, like I just flip it on the bottom if I need to, I flip it on the top. And basically what I use it for is um, mostly for cutting. So when I'm working on the mat, I have a big paper cutter, I have like the big Fiskars paper cutter. And it's a pain to take out, plus it takes up a lot of space. So if I'm cutting, I have to move over to the cutting thing versus coming here. Um, so what I really like about this is, because this is glass, I can use, um, you know, like my craft tool, I can use a paper, rotary paper cutter, and this is a very thin paper. Um, it's called masking paper, and I'll show you some of the stuff that I've been doing with it. But basically I've been cutting this masking paper on here, and let me just say, I usually cut it like at 12 inches. And I cut it again at uh, like eight. So, I mean, you can see through it. I like it, you can move it around. I don't necessarily flip it. I think the side that, you know, I don't care if it's on the bevel side or not. One side is better than the other for um, cutting. It's supposed to be like the straight side, not the bevel side. I just use whatever. And then I cut these sheets. So what I do is, I mean, it just makes it so much easier because if I had a, to go to my cutting machine, I'd have to move that over, go move. And being able to just cut everything right here and that you can see through the ruler. I mean, one of the great things about this too is that you can measure it because you see through. I mean, yes, you could use a regular ruler, but that you can see through this and slide it along because it does fit on the edge of here. So I can slide this along. I just love it. Um, I really like it. Um, and I can just see through it instead of putting a ruler that I can't, normally I wouldn't be able to see. So one of the things I'll show you that I've been making on here is this is, masking paper and I also have a green one and I'll put a link to this also on Amazon because it's really cheap it's like two dollars and sixty eight cents for this roll on Amazon um, I think the green one's a little more but the brown one is like two and look how much you get on here and this is like a really thin paper it's, it's really nice um, so what I've been doing with this paper is I've been making these envelopes and again I'm able to just kind of do it all right here. I can cut the paper for the envelopes. I can glue them, do everything without having to get up and switch tools, like go to my cutting tool. I can have my glue on here. I can do everything I need right here. Um, and actually I have used the scraper with the glue. When I get the glue on, I just kind of scrape it off. So that does work with that. And I've just been making all these cute little coin envelopes. And you know, I can stamp right here. So my whole, this is pretty much my whole work surface. The other thing I've been using this paper for is, I love this paper, um, so more envelopes, these are all envelopes that I've made and like I said just sitting right here making them, is I've been attaching this to like white copy paper and running this paper through my printer and just printing out, look at these, gorgeous, it prints so nice. So yes, I love this paper, um, I've been printing all these papers out, look at how beautiful, I mean it's it's so nice. It's got like this kind of thin like tissue paper. 
it's, it's not tissue paper, it's not deli paper, it's, I don't know, it's great. It's just painter's masking and it's so cheap. So, it prints great. I love the prints on this, the green and this color. So I've been using it to make this stuff. Um, what do I have in here? So, also, I made these beautiful stickers. Um, I might do another video on this. This is using um, clear sticker paper. Like, I think this was like silhouette paper. And I kind of scanned these, did like the whole print and scan. And then these are actually clear stickers. I can show you. These are really cool. It's like my other new thing I've been doing. If you can see, these are clear stickers um, using the Cricut paper. But that's a whole nother thing. So this is the Tim Holtz Media tool set. You get the scraper and the ruler. It's like 12 change on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And if you have the glass mat, it's definitely an added tool, especially if you're going to be doing some cutting and stuff. I definitely would recommend using this. Um, I like it. I use it a lot. I think it's great that I can just sit here. I don't have to move over to get my cutting, moving stuff around. I can do everything in this one space. So I really like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.